Welcome back, y'all. I came out today to set some raccoon traps. We're gonna set four traps, two with sardines, two with marshmallows. We're gonna watch them overnight with trail cameras, and we're gonna see which is actually the better bait. All right, first up, we have marshmallows. We're gonna do two of these in dog-proof traps, one right here and one about 10, 15 feet that way. See if we can double up tonight. All right, the marshmallows are set. Let's move on to the sardines. All right, next up, we have the sardines. We're gonna set two traps again. One here, one about 15 feet that way. See if we can double up. It's just sardines and oil. So I'm not using a dog proof on this one. I have a fourth dog proof, but I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna use just regular foothold trap, bridger, right here. All right, both of the sardines are set. We're gonna put up our trail cameras. We'll come back tomorrow, see what we got. All right, y'all, we made it back to the traps. We're checking them here. I know we at least have two, so let's go see exactly what we have. All right, first up, we have a big raccoon right here. That is the first sardine trap that we set. That's the second one. It looks like they got the bait there, but it just didn't set off the trap. Come over here. And over here are the two sets of marshmallows. Playing possum here. And another raccoon. That's a pretty good night. Well, just to give you some context here, those two are pretty close together, and then the other one is right through there. So, we'll call that a triple. <laughs> well, the jury's still out on which one is better, but whether you're using marshmallows or sardines, you should be able to catch some raccoons. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.